So if you're watching this video, my best guess is that your air link isn't working. And I'm also hoping that you watch the other three videos I made about this issue just to kind of help you, you know, understand where we're going and the things that we have already done in the past to fix this issue. So we might run down through some of the previous steps on how to fix it but i'm going to try to throw in fresh new ideas and fresh new things that i haven't mentioned in the past but i'll still talk about some of the older stuff so keep that in mind all right so the one thing that i would suggest every single time is go onto your oculus app and make sure that you are on the public test channel just to make sure that you get all the extra experimental features that you might, you know, see floating around. And aside from that, always make sure that your drivers are updated. You want to make sure that it's always on point, both on your app and on your Oculus Quest, or I should just call it the Meta Quest, which sounds stupid, but I, I guess that's the new name. Another thing that could be causing your early not to be detected is by having your network profile set to public. In the public profile, you'll have other things accessing your computer, like your printers and stuff like that. So that would be something that could be causing an issue. So just make sure you set it to private and that would, you know, help you out a little bit. One of the last things we're gonna be checking is gonna be your firewall. This could be causing your airlink not to be detected so in order for you to do that you want to go ahead and go down to the search bar and type in firewall and you're going to click on the first option right here and this will open up this window over here now you're going to click on allow app or feature through window defender now you want to scroll down and find the oculus core software and the oculus software firewall you want to make sure that these are checked on both uh, profiles and if you don't see the option to uh, select any of these two you want to click on change settings and select the two and click OK. Another thing you want to make sure is that you don't have any VPNs running. OK, so the next thing we're going to look at is going to be the lag that you guys get when you're connected to the air link. Now, the way this works is you need to have your PC connected to your router through the Ethernet cable. If you have it plugged in through Wi-Fi, the connection will be really bad. I've tested that myself and it doesn't work the proper way. So the best way you can do it is having your computer on the cable to your router and from the router, send that over to your Quest. Now, keep in mind, everything else connected to your router will take away bandwidth, hence uh, bring down more frames over to your Quest. So you want to make sure you either disconnect or move everything over to 2.4 gigahertz, at least while you're playing, just to see if that fixes that issue. Now, this is very simple. I know a lot of you guys can't connect your computer to your router on the actual Ethernet cable, and that might be one of the biggest issues since, again, I've tested this myself, uh, doing it through Wi-Fi, and my connection was crap. It was huge, huge crap, and it wasn't working the way it was intended to and the last thing is you should stay away from windows 11 windows 11 is still fairly new and not a lot of the software or programs out there right now are compatible with it maybe most of you guys don't even have windows 11 but just in case uh this might not be working due to windows 11 as well so that's it for me guys if you found this helpful give it a thumbs up and if you have any other questions Leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to respond as much as possible and I'll try to make a follow up video with other solutions or other ways that I can probably help you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.